So without further ado, welcome Neil as he, he gets his camera in, uh, in focus here, Neil. Hey, it's great to have you on this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, you're welcome. Pleasure. I'm excited to, to introduce you, uh, to get your business launched, to kind of showcase you to the rest of our team. And mm -hmm. so, man, it's just a pleasure to have you on this morning. Um, hey, just maybe if you want to just introduce yourself a little bit, your background, and then maybe some of your passions and goals. Okay, sure. Uh, well, basically, my, well, my name is Neil Fasolino, and I've uh, uh, been in, uh, in dabbling in network, network marketing for the past couple of years. But uh, just quick background. Uh, been pretty much a native New Yorker most oh yeah most of my life because I'm in New Jersey now, <laughs> uh, but born in the Bronx, uh, Italian family, uh, tight knit, uh, you know. So basically, holidays and uh, birthdays were a big event. <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, just did the whole nine yards. You know, it was kind of it was kind of, even though it was in a, a borough of New York City, it was like living in a small town. Everyone knew everyone, all the shop owners and everything else. My my dad was a police officer and then wow. had his own. Yeah. Okay. And then had his own for 20 years. Wow. And then and then transitioned over into real estate and uh, right in the town that I grew up in, you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's, it, it, yeah, it was just a great way of living. You know, a lot of cousins and, uh, you know, it, it was great. Um, uh, yeah, something unfortunate happened later on, like when I was around 13, there were issues uh, in, with the with the marriage and you know the parents split. But mm. mom found a great guy from Staten Island and shipped us out to Staten Island. <laughs> which was like, whoa, like, I didn't even know it existed. I knew it was floating out there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if, if you don't know, it's one of the, uh, the boroughs of New York City as well, yeah. but kind of like near New Jersey on the outskirts. And, yeah. and, uh, and pretty much that is where I grew up as a teenager and went to high school, college, and, uh, and then embarked on my, on my career yeah. uh, from there. So uh, also a great place to grow up, very f fair, family oriented and, uh, um, a little bit nicer environment, I would say, than the, uh, than, the than the city, I would say. But um, mm -hmm. anyway, and so uh, just going forward, so uh, you know, I went to uh, St. John's University, which has a campus campus on Staten Island, and I ended up majoring in uh, accounting. Uh, and that was kind of at the I don't want to say behest, but at the uh, encouragement of my counselor and and different people uh, within the school, saying that it was the best way to get the best job. Mm, okay. You know? So. They said, if you want a guarantee, does it, we have a 95% placement rate in that in that uh, industry. They said, if you go into management or marketing, uh, we can't promise you anything. So yeah. I went for it. And, I did, and that's pretty much how I did things in my life, is that when I was told that this is what you need to do, or this is the best way to go, I would put my blinders on and just go ahead and do it. And not really think about, is this the, the best thing to do or the right thing yeah. to do? You know? Yeah. And so uh, and went ahead and did that and got straight A's right until I graduated college and uh, got a decent job at a mid-sized um, accounting firm. Uh, and I won't go day by day. But uh, so for from when I graduated, which was 1990 and for the next 10 years, I kind of I don't want to say bounced around, but I had a couple of different jobs in different uh, disciplines of accounting, starting from public accounting where I spent a couple of years and got my CPA license because you need to work in that type of a company to get that. Right. And I ended up in a private company, Lipton, Unilever, all those food products and whatnot. Hmm. Uh, started out in the, um, in the credit department and then ended up in the financial reporting department, which was like for, for, for an accountant or for someone in business was like the most high-end, intense, uh, stressed out department you could be in. <clears throat> and uh, I was pretty much there for like... Uh, I was in that department for like three years. I was supervisor. Okay. Uh, and uh, I guess if I wanted to follow the corporate path, I would have continued on that road. And who knows where I would have ended up, you know. But uh, you, you probably have heard this before. And I really did, honestly did this. I'm sitting there one night and I thought about my boss. And I said, do I want to be him? I said, no. Then I thought about his boss. And I was like, I definitely don't want to be him. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't even go home. I think he has a, a bed downstairs. Right, right. right. Uh, so uh, I just really started getting disillusioned with uh, the whole well, with the with the corporate world. And then I really, really, really had a distaste for the, the work of accounting and sitting at a desk and crunching numbers and mm -hmm. telling me that I can't spend time with my family and uh, you know, can't do normal things because I have to just be here till 10 o'clock at night and work all weekend. Right. Which is ridiculous. 
So I was on a very fast downhill uh, trend, you know, as far as being happy and everything else. Mm -hmm. And I guess, I guess as luck would have it, I ended up getting laid off. <laughs> uh, and that, Blessing that was in disguise type of thing. Yeah, huh? exactly. Okay. Uh, and, and that happened because um, uh, while they were merging, the, the, the parent company started really taking interest in all the, 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 the ownership companies and started merging and consolidating the food companies and, so, you know, redundancy had to go and I was a supervisor and I had another supervisor and two managers in my department. So I was the newest, you know, and that may be also, I don't know, performance wise, I was showing that I really didn't give up, <laughs> you know yeah. what? Yeah. So uh, anyway, they gave me a little package and I went on my way. And that is where I embarked on the, the, the second part of my career in life. And that I ended up in massage therapy. I, um, I, knew, I knew that I wanted to help people. I knew I wanted to uh do something in that you know in that arena with people helping people and mm -hmm. i didn't want an office job i did not want another one i didn't you know they offered me more training and so i said no i don't know thank you <laughs> yeah you know uh, and so uh and honestly at this point i was not really thinking about dollars i was like i'm thinking about what i like to do what i enjoy doing and peace and happiness kind of like the same reason like an actor might go into like theater right right you're like, they're told you go on Broadway, you're not going to make any money unless you make it big. They're like, but that's my passion. So they do it, you know, yeah. it was kind of similar. I wanted, I wanted a little bit better than that. I wanted to be able to make a living, uh, you know, but at the same time, uh, I wanted to be happy and not stressed out and, and yeah. getting sick. You know? So, and actually in that uh, respect, it really, it, it served its purpose. Absolutely. You know, I, I was, I really was great at it. I definitely was interacting with a lot of people and making a lot of great relationships and I enjoyed what I was doing. I did it well. Uh, so, you know, and that's gone on for like 18 years now. <laughs> wow. So you yeah. want a bigger stint in uh, massage therapy than accounting. Yes. Um, so I guess the next progression would be kind of what drew you to this type of business? What was your, what was the attraction there, Neil? Yeah. I would say probably maybe like 10 years into uh, uh, being a massage therapist, I started realizing a number of things, you know, that uh, uh, physically the endurance part wasn't going to last forever. Your joints, your fingers, things start hurting, things start wearing and tearing. And yeah. so that was one thing that was always in the back of my head. Uh, but then also just financially, you know, I just felt like, you know, this is great and all. I mean, I, I'm glad I did this. I said, but I need to find something that's going to actually not only put more money in my pocket, but kind of secure me like towards retirement. And mm -hmm. then, you know, maybe have something to do a, a legacy of some sort yeah. after I pass, you know, and uh, it didn't seem like massage. It doesn't seem like massage is going to do that. And that's realistic. Yeah. I didn't expect that, you know, but all along the way, after that 10 year mark, I started, I would always look on the internet. And check for for opportunities, you know, and you'd see yeah. like get get rich quick schemes and this and that. And um, ironically enough, I never re I might have come across network marketing, but I didn't even realize it back then. Right. And I remember I almost got scared into uh, a business, and then when I found out that they wanted some monetary investment, which obviously I didn't have, I was just like, eh, you know, cancel, yeah. <laughs> you know. So, but I ha I had been looking all along, and then essentially what happened was. Um, uh, about, I don't know, about a little over a year ago, a coworker of mine in my last job, um, we were at a party and then he just said something about his mentor and she would love to meet you. And, um, you know, this, uh, you know, you might want to talk to her because I know you said you're looking for things and you're looking for more. And so I said, okay, yeah, yeah. And, uh, so I did, I did look into it and, and that was my first introduction actually to, to network marketing. And uh, okay. I don't need to go into names, but I could just say that, uh, you know, I was giving it a go, but I was kind of clueless at that point. And, and um, information was not very forthcoming. So I didn't even know what I was getting into or what I needed to right. do right. at that point. Well, a couple of questions and I guess, so what excites you about this type of business, what we're doing versus your previous? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's easy. Um, well, uh, essentially, I went on YouTube and I, I did see a video um, by someone in our team. And uh, I got very excited because I think that it wasn't network marketing per se that um, I was becoming disillusioned with or, or felt like I couldn't do. Mm -hmm. uh, 
But what I realized I didn't want to do <laughs> was to start soliciting everyone I know in creation, friends, family, and anybody in the past 15,000 years, as yeah. well as, uh, as, well as um, start going out into public and, and just yeah. like, you know, hey, I like the color of your shoes. Where'd you get that? You know, and start conversations yeah. to get people on my team which doesn't seem like the most efficient way to do it to me, but anyway. No. Um, and so when I heard on this YouTube presentation um, uh, from, from our company that, that you know, that there was, uh, you know, that you didn't need to do that and that we, they were developing systems or they had developed systems where you could utilize um, the internet and social media and, and all different avenues to grow a business the same way. You know, yeah. just a different, just a different network marketing business, but with a different team and a different, you know, way of going about it. You know, yeah. so yeah, I know they're not uh, saying, you know, that there are no miracles. You know, work is work, and you have to, you have to build your team in, in the way that right. you have to build your team. Right. And it doesn't mean you're going to do it 100% online. But if I could do a big portion of it online, and the rest. When I'm getting all excited about my business, I probably won't mind talking to friends and family and, and whoever at that point. Well, exactly. You know? exactly. Yeah. You, you are confirmation, Neil, that, and this is what I kind of said in the introduction, you'll be able to go back and watch it, is that yeah. your confirmation that the social media platform, social media marketing works. You've mm -hmm. reached out to us. I didn't reach out to you. I'm here in Seattle, Washington. I didn't pick up the phone and say, oh, let's look at through people in New Jersey. Oh, Neil Fasolino, let me call him up. Um, right. No, you reached out to me. So it's confirmation, one, that the process works, but you can reach people, like you're saying, much more efficiently than having to go out and spend your days and evenings trying to uh, reach people. So what has been your experience since you onboarded here, gosh, probably a couple of weeks ago, what's been your experience with 3LE? I always, I want to hear what, mm -hmm. what you think, if there's areas we need to improve upon, great, but what, what did you like about it? Uh, number one, the positivity, the genuineness and the openness of yourself and everyone involved on the team, uh, including, including Adam and Ashley, you know, of course. Uh, and that was one of the things, too, when I first saw that YouTube, it was just that I just was getting this vibe, this feeling of like I connected and that it was real and that I wasn't, mm -hmm. the wool wasn't being pulled over my eyes, that this was a real thing. And yeah, uh, yeah. and so it just, it just got me real excited. And uh, I lost my train of thought. So how should, how should I close this? Was, <laughs> was well, no, I think that's good. So your experience has basically been good as far as onboarding, oh, oh. coming on as a new person. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. So that, yeah, the other, the other side of the coin, aside from all the great people was learning. I am doing nothing but, uh, well, reading books that you're suggesting as well as doing all of this online training that was prepared by Adam and Ashley and, uh, just learning about well, number one, number one, they've not only developed or put together like training about social media, but they literally put together systems so that you know, people are, you know, are, if, if, if my link is hit on, like if I put my link on some uh, website or something and someone clicks on it through the systems that I, Adam and Ashley developed, uh, that is gonna go like into my lead, situ lead box and I'm gonna be able to then contact these people that have been, you know, that, is that something that I could have created on my own? Well, I don't know, maybe after a lot of money and research, I could have figured out how to do that, but they made it so easy mm -hmm. to simply just, you know, tap into this, set it up, and there yeah. you go. You have a, a way of getting leads, you know? Yeah. What's kind of cool, what I've always learned is that, you know, experience is great, but if you can learn off the experience of others, so in other words, not having to go out and reinvent the wheel. Exactly. Right? Is exactly. just, hey, here's a system, here's somebody who's been in the, basically been in that online arena for 15 years, 14 years. Um, so at this point, Kind of tell me a little bit about what your why is, if you've thought about that. What you know, what's your big motivator? Where do what do you see? Where do you see yourself going at, from this point forward? Okay, well, looking at it from the perspective of someone uh, that's at my stage of life. So I'm 52. I have no, no reason to hide that. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm 52. <laughs> yep, I got you beat. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, so essentially, what am I? What I mean, what am I looking for? Okay. Uh, you know, for the balance of my life, you know, I want to, first of all, do something exciting and worthwhile, right? Uh, why not be building something 
that is going to actually more, you know, as it goes on, bring more and more money into my life and more and more yeah. uh, opportunities and just things, you know, I'm saying freedom and thing, whatever things to do in my life. And then at the end of the day to not have to worry about social security, <laughs> surviving by social security, but maybe I will have investments and money to live off of and then yeah. money to, to give to people uh, after I pass on. So that's my motivator. Like that's because well, the motivating part is if I don't do that, then what? That's the motivator. <laughs> well, as you've heard, it, we've heard this, but it is so true. If nothing changes, nothing changes. Yeah. Right. And the definition yeah. of insanity is doing the same thing over expecting different results. So if what you're doing isn't quite, quite working or bringing you the results, you got to do something different. So I applaud you for one, for coming on board and, mm -hmm. um, jumping on the, the uh, 3LE train and, and <laughs> joining us, what would you tell the newest person or somebody looking at this business? What, what would you say to them? What would be your encouragement to them? I would say uh, if you know anything about network marketing, or maybe you don't, uh, if you are considering this type of business, maybe you know do some learning first and find out what the, this type of business is all about. But when considering one, I would, uh, if you could be so lucky as to join a team like that I'm on right now, it, it would be probably the best thing that could happen in your life because it's got everything that you would want uh, to be able to build this type of business. You know, it's got great people that have been through it and know what they're doing and, and, and have lots to share with you. You have systems in place. You are, you're going to be using the internet and, and network marketing, excuse me, and, uh, and, um, or social media rather to uh to 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 grow your business and uh i don't know i, I it, it's all positive so yeah. you know you know you know you should do it i i would totally 100 percent recommend joining the team if you could yeah yeah certainly you can check us out i mean i tell people you you know people ask like where's your qualification so look you can check me out on my facebook you can check me out on linkedin you can check me out on youtube you checked us out on YouTube. And your big thing, when I think back, Neil, is, you know, we post content, but that content's got to connect with people. And we mm -hmm. connected with you. And that's what we're trying to do is just is to be real. So when you reach out, so I guess my, my uh, parting thoughts would be, hey, to those of you that are watching this, um, and those that you know, Neil or know of him, reach out to him because he's going to be a great guy to work with. The guy's got a, a wonderful, just a wonderful persona. I really do. And I want to see your, uh, your acting uh, skills start kicking in here, man. You got to, <laughs> should have had you cite some Shakespeare or something like that. But um, I just think that's a huge positive. So any, Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, no, I think it's going to be awesome. I mean, I just think your your persona and all that is really going to be uh, a positive, especially when you start doing videos to be able to convey yourself. We talked about this before, you know, about connecting with people and being yeah. real. And that's really all this is. Social media really isn't that much different. You've got to yeah. be able, again, to connect with people. And if you don't, it doesn't matter what you do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta yeah. Be real. Yeah, it's, it, it, there's not a lot to it. It's just being yourself. I mean, people feel that they need to do something to, to, uh, to make it more interesting or to gussy it up or to make people aren't going to just believe me. I have to make this seem like it's, I have to make this, make it seem like it's professional. No, I mean, Adam and Ashley are like petting the dog and just talking about like what they have for breakfast. But you know what? People laugh and people relate to that. Now, if Adam and Ashley came on like, uh, you know, news broadcasters with with ties and, and just said, hello and welcome. And yes, and now we're going to show you this is Jeunesse, you know, and uh, and just basically introduce things, but that weren't real and weren't really, I mean, why should I join that? You know, I don't want to, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's a great observation because it really part of it just being real to people. Hey, none of us are perfect one, right? I think we all know that, but mm -hmm. showing the imperfection, showing the struggles that we've been through, that you've been through, you're going to be able to reach out to so many people. You know, I think I just think in your story, your your whole process of becoming a CPA and getting burned out 
in that corporate environment. That's pretty typical, but making a switch because you want to be happy. And I think Gary Vaynerchuk talks about this. And I think he's right. Is that he's going to, you know, what we, we tend to in America equate success with money and all the trappings with that. But if you're not happy, what does it really matter? Exactly. <laughs> you, know, you make a million dollars a year and you hate what you do versus your $50,000 a year, but you love it. Who's yeah. more successful? Exactly. Right. Exactly. So you yeah. kind of hit on, a, I think, a chord there for a lot of people is that pursuing happiness, you know, mm -hmm. the corporate world maybe wasn't what you thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. And you just saw, hey, I got to basically give my life to it. Now, in what we want to do, we want you to fit, you know, fit the business in around your life, not, you know, fit your life in around the business here and do the same right. thing you were doing. Um, yeah in the corporate world, which is just working from sun up to sundown and then some, yeah. and yeah. Uh, not having a life really. No. So, hey, any closing thoughts here, Neil? Anything you want to impart or say, encouragement to those that'll be watching this coming up? Yeah, um, you know, if you have that burning feeling inside that you, you feel like you should be doing something or you want to do something or you want to change your life, uh, take it to the next level and do something about it. I mean, start looking into things. Yeah. If, you, if you're seeing this, contact us right away and, and we'll, we'll tell you what, what, what's what. But, you know, don't give up on your dreams and don't, and, and it's never too late to, to pursue what you want to pursue. So uh, go for it. <laughs> awesome, guys. I'm so happy again to introduce Neil Fasolino to our 3 LA team. And then again, those of you that are watching this uh, with questions or anything with Neil, um, please reach out to him. He's going he's gonna to be a great guy. I'm excited to have him build his team and to start bringing new people on that we can, too, that we get a chance and the honor to meet and work with and also help them to build a legacy, too, guys. So thanks so much for tuning in on this today, and we'll be in touch with you guys. Bye-bye.